Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully complete the classic event in Beast Swarm Simulator. And in the ticks are really easy. That's the easy part. However, trying to actually get the tokens, it's actually a little difficult, right? So first, I'm just going to go through the ticket locations. Ticket location, I mean, my bad, ticks location, right on the ticket on the ticket shop. We're going to have a ticks up here on this mushroom. You have to complete this parkour. Obviously, these are going to be super easy to get if you've played the game before, but if they're new, it's still possible, just a bit more challenging. Uh, there's another ticket on here. And finally, there is a ticket if you come up here. I keep saying ticket. I mean ticks, y'all. I'm so sorry. There's a uh, ticks right here, right? And that's all the ticks in the main game. But the rest of the ticks are in the rest of the event. So we're going to come here, Defense of the Hugs. This is also where you go to get the tokens. I'm going to come in here real quick. I don't remember if there was a ticks on here. Or if there is, you just look around. But then you have to come through here. There's going to be a ticks inside the building. Or off to the side. Make sure. Then you're going to be in here. There's going to be a ticks right here. And then to get to that, you have to climb up and jump down. It takes a second. There's no fall damage, so if you mess it up somehow, it's okay. And then we're going to come here. I don't think there was a ticket location on here, but we're going to come up here. There's another teleport. And then we're going to get another ticket here. So that's one, two, three, four, right? Four and four. Oh, my bad, y'all. Three. One, two, three. There's only three here, right? And then when we go back, the rest of them are in here. So we're just going to start a match. Once I show the ticket um, locations here, I'm also going to then explain how to successfully get the tokens because legitimately this challenge is kind of hard. So obviously you want to spawn your hive. It's okay if you're a newer player and you don't have stuff, right? There's going to be a ticket, I think around there in that corner. There's going to be a ticket right here. And then there's going to be another ticket back there. And in total, that should be 10. Four in the main game, three in the, um, like the classic event, like start mode hub, and then another three here. Um, if I have any wrong information, you can always correct me down below, but I did do this earlier and I'm pretty sure it's accurate. I'm just not, yeah, I'm pretty confident what I said was right. So first, when you start, you just want to immediately start getting flowers. We want to be careful though, because I mean, it's a lot easier for me because of my build. I can get honey super fast for bricks and bees. What we want to do though, is grab the trowel. The trowel is like your best friend. Without the trowel, you're not going to finish this. The trowel is the peak. It's the pinnacle of be kind, right? You need the trial to finish this event, otherwise they're gonna get too far. You're gonna lose. So, I only have one other good um, teammate helping me, so this is gonna be a little rough. When I did it, I had someone that was really built, so it was a tiny bit easier. Okay, and then you wanna start placing the walls. Because this will block them from coming up. And it gives your uh, team kind of a little chance to fight them. Thankfully, he got Vicious B. Otherwise, we might have been a little screwed. Depending on... I mean, we're with two lower players, right? And I do want to mention, if you don't have good Bs and you have to use rentals, I would suggest trying to go for the... Uh, slingshot because the slingshot has really good DPS for a 
relatively low price, right? Um, yeah, so we're barely going to start off this first run, but it's okay. We're going to kind of build up really fast. Because once uh, I get my Vicious Bee as well, we're going to be a little okay. Okay, we lost one, but it's okay. We don't lose anything for losing a heart. As long as we make it to the right wave. Come here, spawn two Fire Bees. Okay, so this was a good first round. It's just uh, a little close. Now you have to be really careful. Personally, what I do, I immediately just start placing. I just place the whole round. Our other friend over there seems to kind of have his Vicious Bees ready. So if we can kind of just aid him by stopping all the slimes before their advance, then we're going to do a lot better work. And he knows the trial strat too, it looks like, so we're in really good shape. I'm going to start trialing over here. Because legitimately, the trial is like, you need this, you need it to finish. Now, also keep in mind, it does take a single brick whenever you trowel. So, in case you run out like I'm about to, you might have to replenish. We should be fine this round. Our less progressed friends are going to have to start getting um, the slingshot, right? And another thing, with the zombies, you can actually just distract them. Because they'll chase you. However, the slimes will not chase you, which is why we need the trial. The zombies do more damage, but they'll follow you, so you can kind of distract them. I'll somebody get that. I need to get more bricks. And if you do happen to be more progressed, I do suggest trying to help out your less progressed teammates by um, placing their fills with sprinklers. Um, we're also going to do a couple bit more honey. I mean a bit more bricks. We're a little low. It should be fine. Do keep in mind that you might want to place the walls a bit more up if you're spamming them. This is because that they do have a lifespan of 5 minutes. It says it right there. So you don't want to place it back here and then you end up not like a waste of a wall. Because that takes time and bricks. Which we honestly don't have a lot of in this trial. Now for this one, it's really easy. You don't even need a single wall because all the zombies will chase you. It looks like they are trying. If they get through, I can um, stop them. But it should be fine. Ooh, Rage Bee's a good one. We're going to get the bricks over here real quick. Just so that we have a bit more ammo for the Shroud. Now, unfortunately, I still don't have my Vicious Bee yet. Which is a little scary. But it should be okay. He has his Vicious Bee. I do want to say, if no one in your squad has a Vicious Bee, it's going to be kind of hard to win unless you get a rental Vicious Bee. So yeah, this uh, zombies are a light one. They're really easy. Alright. I'm gonna start placing down a couple more walls. And another thing. I'm, like, pretty sure, unless you're end game, end game, like your bees are level something like 16, which is a very low uh, percentage of players, you're probably not gonna be able to solo this, so I do recommend hopping in a party of at least randoms like I am right now. Even if they're not all progressed, you just need one other progressed, at least two progressed people, if they're not endgame, to probably sufficiently do it. And at least one Vicious Bee, because Vicious Bee really helps a lot. Alright. We're just going to keep placing a couple. Round three, we're making good work. We have lost a single heart, but that should be okay. I think our friends might have to get rental bees soon. All the slimes sp seem to be spawning on this side. Just fortunate because I placed all my walls down here. I'm gonna let him handle that while I go grind a little more. Unequip that. Got the brick bloom. The if you've played before, the brick blooms kind of work like sprouts, 
and they just drop a ton of bricks for you to spend on like gear and um, bees like because all your bees are locked now I do want to say I haven't tried any of this gear I haven't even bought the firebrand even though I had enough bricks at the time you can make it through with um, an aphid that's such a weird spawn here whatever free stuff I guess but uh, yeah, the wall is holding them off, but we're gonna have to start helping them. I'm gonna tell them to get slingshot. It's only a matter of if they listen to me, which I hope they do. Oh, this one's gonna make it through. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, this can be really easy. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna get bum rushed immediately in those. So you have to be really careful. Because where a lot of runs end is normally the first round. I also do want to say, if you're getting into Beast Room Simulator, the farther you get in this challenge, the more rewards you get for the main game. So it's also helpful just to do this event if you have everything still. Because you can get more rewards as well. We're halfway done. Pretty easy. Um, me and him don't have like... We're kind of like a mid game right now. Me and the other progress dude. He is placing walls. But it is going to be a bit of a struggle. When the higher level slimes come up. Because they get all the way up to level 12. So if you have a gang that's um, full of bees with a lower level. It might be a bit of a struggle, but if you trowel enough, you'll eventually win. Just because they can't get through. And look, they did get the, um... The slingshot, which is nice. It is much more DPS than the sword. And it's also safer because you won't get hit. Yeah. It looks like the other underprogressed dude got firebrand. I don't know how good it is. It seems to be working for him, though, so that's good. I'm gonna place a couple there. If you do place it in the wrong direction, that's okay, because they'll still sometimes get stuck on it. It'll stop a little. It's better than nothing. Um, we're gonna go for Bomber B. Ruby's not bad. I'm going to try and see if I can also work towards my Vicious B. It's gonna be a little hard. Um, I'm gonna do demo B. It's rough sometimes though, man. We finished that round really quickly because of our uh, firebrand and slingshot. So we do have a bit of a break to get some more bricks, which is really nice. If you, you can go past level 10, but more often than not, people are just going to leave after level 10 because they only played this for the um, the event. Which sucks, but I get it. Um, now, I do want to say, if you have to buy rentals, I do recommend buying the specific bees. Lion Bee, Ninja Bee, Vicious Bee, Sniper Bee. Um... Bear B. Tabby B? No, not Tabby B. Don't get Tabby B. It would be a bad pick because um you you have to level them up very slowly. Um yeah, mostly just vicious B. Vicious B is kind of like the meta multi-hit damaging thing. Without it, you're kinda screwed. Unless you have really high single target um bees, which I mean again, if you have to buy rentals, you most likely don't. I'm gonna come over here, block these dudes. I still don't have a weapon yet, but it's fine. My bees are pretty good. And the uh, the direction of your child, by the way, also um, kind of depends on where you click relative to your character location. So your camera and um, uh, character direction facing doesn't really matter. It just depends on where you click relative to where you're standing. So if you want to like do this, you can. 
it's always going to be like parallel to where you uh, click. We're on six. You should be at uh, three tokens right now. The next four rounds, it gets a little harder, but we're at a point now where um, we kind of know what we're doing. We got our flow. So unless we screw up really badly somehow, there's not really any possible way we lose. Yeah, if, when, if you do have rental bees, I also do recommend leveling them up because that makes them do more damage, it increases their abilities, it makes them faster. It's better than getting a new bee almost, depending on how many rental bees you have. Because they can, bees can get quite expensive in this. Focus bee. Melody Bee and Commando Bee are also really good ones because they um, they give crit, uh, power, and chance, which is really good for fighting. If you know what crit is, you there's a chance that you will crit, and a critical hit is basically do bonus damage based on your critical modifier. I'm assuming most of you know what a crit is, though. Hopefully. Looks like a couple of them are making it through. We're gonna wanna come here and stop them. We're chilling now. There's no high level one, so I think we're okay. He does need a little bit of assistance. It would help if I had vicious speed. I still don't have them. They still haven't made it past the items though. So we're doing really well. Round seven. They're getting nowhere. I'm gonna place a couple of preemptive walls. Just to kind of uh, stop their advances. You can't really predict like what side, like if you notice in some of the earlier rounds, they came lopsided all on one side. There's not really any way you can predict that. Like right now, they're all gonna come on the right side, it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's not relative to where you're standing when they spawn, so there's not much you can do. I'm gonna keep trawling now. Bees are gonna attack, it's gonna- it's looking good. I think the level 12s are gonna start spawning soon. I'm not too sure though. I might um, try and speed this up so that y'all can still see the process without having to wait like possibly the next five minutes left of this uh, round. If I have any important info, I'll definitely slow it down for y'all to hear. But um, yeah, I think I told y'all everything important that you need to know, including if you have never played Beast Run before. It is going to be more challenging if you've never played it, so I do recommend getting at least a like, see, this he seems like a new player. He probably got a couple of the better gear before coming in here. So I do recommend doing that if you're a new player. And you still want to do the event. It should be okay, though, because there, there's definitely going to be other people as well that can carry you. Well, yeah, let's speed this up. Um, let me take y'all back here real quick. You can see there's the level 12. It, you want to kind of focus it because, um, level changes your rate to hit based on how far away you are from that level. So you might want to focus them depending on, like, how many progress players you got. Like, there's two of us with level 10, so it was pretty okay. We did that really fast. But if you're a group of, uh, lower, um, less progress people, you want to completely focus them because they'll screw you over. And it should be okay since all the zombies, you can kind of distract them with another player.
yeah, while well, we're finishing this last one up, it can get a little scary, but remember, as long as they're past the items still, which they barely are, you're probably in good shape. We did that really well. Remember, the first couple rounds were only the hardest. It's okay if this takes you a couple of tries, especially since you'll no if you do lose, it'll normally be the first few rounds, so it's not that big of a waste of time losing. Because once you get win the first few, you start to get your um, rhythm going. You get all your uh, gear ready. Uh, I'm going to keep playing with these dudes to kind of help them. Because it looks like they want to keep playing past 10. But, um, yeah. If y'all like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, like the video as well if you found it helpful. I'm trying to do more stuff like this. So I want to know if I did a good job kind of showing our stuff as an explaining. And if you have any other video suggestions, make sure to comment them down below. And join the Discord server if you need to get in contact with me. But, um, yeah. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.